Well, there was a time in the first half up 13 points when the Marion County Lady Mustangs seemed destined to return to the Missouri Class 1 state championship game. And then inexplicably, the bottom absolutely fell out all at once. We'll start you off, though, in better times. The first eight minutes, really good for Jessica Red and company as they would jump up on Eminence and not really give Eminence much hope in this game. Randy Lee Plunkett leading the fast break right here, pretty much scoring at will. And then it's Kaylin Spratt from the corner doing what she does best, knocking down the triple. It was a 15-9 lead for Marion County after the first. Marion County would actually lead this game by as many as 13 points in the first half. As I mentioned, Eminence, though, would answer in this one with a 16-2 run to end the first half and actually lead the game by one going into the break. Second half, Marion County trying to go inside. Jessica Red was good when she wasn't in foul trouble. Unfortunately, she spent much of the second half in foul trouble. The defensive eminence was really good in this game, able to create points. The big story in this one, the All-Stater Kelsey Williams, who had 24 points, 9 rebounds, 7 assists. Marion County not done, though. Randy Lee Plunkett trying to make a run at this game, but down the stretch, at the end of this ball game, eminence goes on another huge run, a 14-2 run, and that is the difference in the ball game as Marion County's 60-game win streak comes to an end. So, too, does the bid for a repeat championship as eminence is going on to the title game by virtue of a 59-46 win. That means Marion County's back at it tomorrow afternoon playing for third place against Jefferson who was a loser tonight by eight to Walnut Grove. Again, Marion County will be the heavy favorites in that game. We'll have highlights of that game coming up for you tomorrow night at 10 o'clock on Sports Final. We've got baseball for you going on today. The Brown County Hornet fans out and ready to watch their team try to even their record at one and one on the season. Clayton Taylor gets the call on the hill. He was really good with the strike out there. He was good with the bat in the first inning as well. He got some support though. This time just some great base running by Alex Shepard, but a really nice day, had a home run later in this ball game, forced across four RBIs as well. Rick Logsdon, he induces the wild pitch earlier to score Shepard, then steals a base. Again, base running key for the Hornets early in this game. That would set up Clayton Taylor to help his own cause right here. The little single right out into right field, flared nicely, scores Mr. Logsdon. At that point, it's two to nothing Brown County. North Green would come back, tie the game at two apiece, but you know what? After that, just 10 straight runs out of the Hornets, including that aforementioned home run by Alex Shepard. He's a good one. Brown County evens its record at 1-1 one one on the season with a 12-2 victory today over North Green. We've also got college highlights for you today. John Wood looking for its 11th straight victory in, the, in a row. We got that wrong yesterday. They had won 10 in a row going into yesterday. Great start by Stephen Kaler right there. Then it's John Lozano helping things out with a two-run single as uh, John Wood jumps out early in this game by a 3 to nothing count. Quincy University's JV would bounce back in this one, though. It's the pride of Minden Unity. Chase Hildebrand starting off a big inning for the Hawks in this one as he clubs one into right center field. Then, how about Zach Kanis with a nice shot right here? Scores three runs, including the hustling Brandon Lee from Quincy Notre Dame. And that guy right there, Mr. Mounier, at that point. Quincy University rallies back in this ball game, but another huge day at the plate for Ben Stewart. He had two home runs, as we told you yesterday. Another one today. Also, Robert Gonzalez with a home run as the Blazers break this game wide open for their 11th, not 12th, 11th straight victory of the season. John Wood, a huge winner again today, 19 to 10. If you get a chance to go out and see the Blazers, it's well worth the price of admission this week or anytime soon because they're playing some great baseball right now. Other scores to pass along today in Midwest Conference baseball. A split today for Illinois College against Milliken. Milliken wins the first game 2-1. The second game of more interest to us locally as route product Nick Duke gets the win on the hill. A six-hit shutout today. Struck out four in the offing. Also a big day on the softball diamond for HLG's Kachina Hudson, the pride of Mark Twain High School. as She ended up with five strikeouts and the shutout in game number one. Game number two, not too shabby either as Kachina Hudson hit a home run, went two for four at the plate, and also drove in three runs on the day.